at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. I'm sure you all recognize this man. We know him only as Yuri, fugitive advisor to Soviet Premier Romanov. While we were busy fighting the Soviets, Yuri was using his mind control technology to establish a secret army of his own. A group of Yuri's initiates have taken Alcatraz Island here in San Francisco. They've constructed some sort of device there. What kind of device? Perhaps I can explain, Mr. President. Yuri. The device is called a Psychic Dominator. There is a network of such devices spread across the globe. More of your mind control tricks? No tricks, Mr. President. In a few moments, I will unleash a tidal wave of psychic energy designed to dominate the minds of an entire planet. There will be no more free will, only my will. Yuri. Yuri, Yuri. The war's over. Can't we all just get along? What if I was to give you a full presidential pardon? Your country needs a leader. It could be you. Why should I be content to lead one nation if I can control the whole world, Mr. President? You can't threaten us. We're the most powerful nation on Earth. We did win the war, you know. Did you? Indeed. I say not. Mr. President, something's happening. The device is beginning to deploy. Call in an airstrike. I want that tower taken out. Command, this is Mojo One. We are on station. Roger, Mojo One. Target is located on Alcatraz Island, Vector 270, at 10 miles. Target acquired. Engage! Engage! Francisco, the psychic dominator on Alcatraz will not function. Most unfortunate. But we have other devices. I think time has come to activate them. really going to do it. May God help us all. The situation looks bad, Commander. Yuri's forces have successfully detonated two of his psychic dominator devices, turning much of the planet into mindless Yuri drones. Luckily, the device here in San Francisco seems to be underpowered. It hasn't been activated yet. Stand by, Commander. I have Special Agent Tanya on the line. There may be a way out of this, Commander. Doc Einstein has a new toy. Now, it hasn't been tested yet, but it might be our only way out of this. Right, Doc? Ugh, Doc? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is my prototype temporal displacement device. I believe we can use it to transport your forces backwards in time. With luck, you may be able to avert the psychic dominator disaster before it has begun. 
But we don't have a lot of time, Commander. Yuri's forces are trying to capture power plants throughout the city to divert power to the Psychic Dominator. Well, the docks machine needs power, too. So you have to get out there and you have to capture power plants yourself. Hey, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I'm a field op, I'm not a strategist. And I hate to admit it, but right now I wish General Carver was still alive. If my device works, Miss Tanya, you may get your wish. When you return to the past, contact my earlier self. I may be able to help, yeah? Incoming transmission. Commander, the time machine is powered up. We're ready to make the time shift. Woohoo! Let's shake it, baby. Hang on, this is gonna be a close one. I fear you are out of time. Don't worry. It will be quite painless. And life will be so much simpler for you with no freedom of will. You did it, Commander. The time shift was successful. Yeah, but we couldn't have come at a worse time. We're sitting right in the middle of the first Soviet occupation. Use the Grand Cannons to soften up the Soviets. And when you give me the word, I'll swim to Alcatraz and I'll turn that psychic dominator into scrap metal. Traveling back in time gives us another opportunity, Commander. President Dugan asked me to contact an old friend once we arrived. I hope you're sitting down. Well, Commander, <laughs> from what I understand, the future ain't what it used to be. Now, our job is to set it right. According to Executive Order 9066, which, uh, by the way, won't be written for another couple of months. You know, a man could blow a fuse getting his mind around this time travel stuff here. Anyway, the gist of this thing is that we're involved until the bitter end. We got a job to do, son. Lieutenant will fill you in. Commander, Yuri has taken control of Hollywood using mind control technology. He's begun to use the media to spread subliminal propaganda. Here's a sample with the subliminal mind control properties filtered out. We fight a lie or death struggle against the powers of capitalism. Only complete faith in Yuri can protect you. Only total compliance will save the lives of you and your family. Empty your mind and submit to my will. The less you know, the better off you will be. I am Yuri. Obey me. Incoming transmission. Some of these Hollywood civilians are pretty tough characters, Commander. They might be able to help you. We're receiving a streaming video feed via satellite uplink, Commander. It's from Chairman Bing, the trillionaire CEO of the Massive Soft Corporation in Seattle, Washington. I'm patching it through now. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay online. Yuri's forces are crawling all over the Massive Soft campus. He's built a nuclear missile silo, and he's threatening to nuke Seattle unless I fund his war effort. He's also forcing our R&D department to it's some sort of special project. Looks to me like it's some um, genetic software. Incoming transmission. Satellite recon confirms that Yuri has got an operational silo in the area. Incoming transmission. Attention, Allied Commander. Your unprovoked attack will not go unpunished. Seattle is mine. Pull your forces out of the area, or I will launch a nuclear strike and reduce the city to ash. Incoming transmission. Yuri's nuclear strike has severely crippled our base, Commander. If you capture several power plants, you might be able to bring the weather control device back online and strike back. Incoming transmission. 
I'm making a healthy donation to your war fund. Immediately. I have terrible news, Commander. Professor Einstein has been captured. We believe Yuri plans to force him to help improve the Psychic Dominator technology. With the Professor's help, Yuri could finish the Psychic Dominator network even sooner. We cannot let that happen! Incoming transmission. Help me across the river, Commander, and I'll make your life a whole lot easier. Snatch the good doctor from Yuri's goons, and be out of there before they even know what hit him. Commander! You will be pleased to know that my work for the enemy was not totally without some benefit! I have sabotaged the Psychic Dominator! Yeah, you can use it against Yuri's forces. However, it will most likely blow up after the first time you use it! Espionage, you see, it is not my vocation. Gentlemen, our spy satellites have spotted a huge laboratory facility in Australia. Now, this has got to be where Yuri has his cloning operation. Intel's gotten wind of his plans. He intends to kidnap key allied leaders and replace them with clones. Commander, some of our best operatives gave their lives to get this information. Let's make that sacrifice mean something. Take out that lab! Good news and bad news, Commander. The outcome of the war wasn't changed. The Soviets have surrendered. The bad news is, Yuri's still at large. The world leaders aren't taking any chances. They're meeting at a classified location to sign the treaty with the Soviets. Per the General's orders, restrict... Good day, Lieutenant. Where is this top-secret meeting of world leaders? I... I... can't... Tell me. London... London, England. Parliament building. What in the blazes is going on? We've got an unauthorized transmission. Cut the satellite link. Well, blow it to Kingdom Come if you have to! Out of the frying pan into the fire. Since he can't clone the Allied leaders, he's bound to try a more direct approach. They're meeting in London right now to ratify the treaty with the Soviets. Get to London ASAP, Commander. And you, get a medic out to the Lieutenant. Incoming transmission. This is a very important meeting, Commander. If this treaty is ratified, the Soviet forces will join us in the battle against Yuri. Incoming transmission. You cannot win, Commander. Soon the fool Romanov will be dead. And the Allied leaders will be under my control. Soon you will beg for my mercy and forgiveness. Perhaps you will live as a mindless slave. This might amuse me. Commander, I failed you. I put the whole operation in jeopardy when I told Yuri that the world leaders were meeting in London. As of this moment, I'm tending my resignation. Oh, gosh! You're a vital part of this team, Lieutenant. If you think you're the only officer ever to have his brain twisted by that maniac, you're free to leave. Otherwise, I won't hear any more foolishness about resignations. Are you with us? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, let's concentrate on finding this madman before he can do any more damage. General, I think I have something. Well, let's hear it. I've been triangulating Yuri's transmission, sir. I believe I've tracked his location. Good to have you back, Lieutenant. Well, I'll be dipped in molasses. He's holed up in the Antarctic. Okay, this is it, Commander. The whole enchilada. Prepare to move out. Incoming transmission. 
Our forces will deploy at Tierra del Fuego, at the southernmost tip of South America. Incoming transmission. I have a surprise for you, Comrade General. A new device called Genetic Mutator. You've met my brutes on the battlefield? With this device, I can convert any of your pathetic infantry into a loyal brute. Loyal to me, that is. <laughs> Tonight, I am Yuri, and you will obey. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a nice, safe spot for him to live out his days. Professor Einstein calls it a psychic isolation chamber. <laughs> Thanks to you, Commander, he won't be able to mind control a fly. What's going on? We're picking up a time distortion wave, General. It is the two timelines, Lieutenant. They are merging. One series of events must take precedence over the other. Timelines merging in three, two, one. We are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. How you been, Mr. President? General Carville? How... Did you ever hear of time travel, sir? What do you think? The President's having a victory bash at the White House tonight, so I thought maybe you might... You coming, Commander? That wasn't supposed to happen. Professor! Doc! Yeah, you still have that time machine, right? Good. Could you send me back in time like, two hours? I don't think you got your timeline straight. Catch you on the replay? For the millions of Command & Conquer fans around the world, we got a present for you. Reinforcements en route. Hand of Nod under attack. Enemy presence detected. <laughs>